brace yourself let me know when you're ready are you ready okay <laughs> hi you guys I am in the middle of taking out my hair and I was like oh my god I forgot I was supposed to be vlogging um where's the camera <laughs> so I pulled out the camera really quick I'm sitting here watching um sister sister while I take out my hair in preparation for next weekend my best friend is going to um is going <laughs> it's my best friend's birthday and we're going to Orlando for the weekend and I'm gonna wear my same wig that I've been wearing that y'all been seeing me with but I've been my hair has been braiding up like this hence why you can't even see the braids no more it's been braided up like this since uh ooh, maybe like a month now so I'm like I need to take my hair out and I need to wash it and so that's what I'm doing so I can wash it and then braid it back up okay beast y'all when my hair is out like this and like dirty like this I call it the beast she's long well this side is shrunk up of course because I just let it out but so y'all can see how long my hair is. Uh, oh, it's probably not gonna help because I have on black. The braid though, it come down. I got inches, okay? Damn. Normally, I like to take my hair out and wear it like this. Cause I be thinking it's cute. But I need to wash my hair tomorrow. And I don't got nowhere to go to wear it like this to wear it out anywhere tomorrow's Sunday I guess I could wear it for a couple days but I don't know I like to do productive stuff and like my hair and stuff like that on Sundays just to get out the way before I start the week this shake y'all from Chick-fil-a is so good it's a um caramel apple or something straight from chocolate is so good like addicting type of good let me tell you guys about uh, hmm, a little dilemma that I've been having I want to get y'all opinion so feel free to comment below tell me what y'all think I should do or what y'all think about it not not really what, what y'all think I should do well I guess you could tell me what, what you think I should do or just tell me how you feel about it but um so I have a friend so me and this friend has been friends for like seven years now quite a long time especially for someone like me I don't um I don't really have a lot of friends to begin with because I don't really not that I don't really like people like that but like I'm very selective um, with the people I let around me. I mean, I just don't use the word friend so loosely. Like, um, if I consider you a friend, a close friend at that, and me and this friend, I would say we are very close of friends. Um, like, basically, you're you're kind of lucky. <laughs> let me not sound arrogant. But, yeah, if I consider you a close friend like that, like, that means we locked in. Because I don't just like anybody and I don't just call anybody my friend. But anyway, I have this friend who I've been friends with for, like I just said, like seven years. Close friends. Um, But lately, we have not been on the best of terms. Um, And I'm not going to go into details as to why but i'll just say we haven't been on the best of terms and we actually haven't been talking like it's come it's been like a month or it's going to be in like a couple days it's going to be a month since we have spoken when we used to be 
we used to speak um pretty often like i don't say every day but definitely enough to where like we used to speak a lot not every day but pro felt like almost every day but not every day anywho we haven't been talking like i just haven't been talking to them they haven't been talking to me and it's been upsetting me or yeah it's been upsetting me and i really do feel some type of way about it um and i know why I haven't been talking to them and I think I know why they haven't been talking to me I've been oh look I don't like I have a mohawk one of those mohawks that's like shaved and then this side or like both sides shaved and then it hangs to, I'm getting off topic but <laughs> anywho um so yeah I'm not gonna go into detail about why we initially been having problems but I was talking about why we haven't been talking so I feel like for me, I have not been talking to them, not be not intentionally or not because I don't want to, but it's because I feel like I have been trying to express to them, um, and I feel like I've done this a couple times too. I've been trying to express to them like what my issues are, not what my issues are, like what my feelings are what my concerns are like basically the reason that we've been off like there's a reason what that we've been off and I feel a, a type of way about like the reasons that we've been off and so I feel like I've been trying to express that to them but I don't know I don't think they get I don't think they understand I feel like they listen to me when I've been telling them but they haven't heard me if that makes sense like they're listening but they're not like really listening and so I feel like they just really don't understand what the issues are and so I feel like I've been I've put up a kind of like a wall not necessarily a wall but like a defense mechanism a little bit I guess because I've I've basically me not talking to them it was just me or it's just me kind of like taking a step back um and I've done that because I feel like if I take a step back then it kind of lowers my expectations that I'm expecting from them and so if my expectations are lower then like whenever I do interact with them if I don't feel like I've, I'm trying to get the hair off my hand. If I don't feel like I'm receiving what I feel like I need from them, then it's like, I can't really get, I can't really get hurt or upset because it's like, I'm not, I'm no longer expecting that from them. That probably doesn't make sense, but that's kind of what I had like, that's how I like rationalize things in my head to make me kind of feel better. So yeah i don't know i just kind of, i kind of felt like there was things that i was kind of lacking from them and again i've like tried to express it to them and i don't know i feel like i've tried to express it to them in the best ways that i know how but i don't know i just haven't feel like what i've been needing has been uh i don't feel like i've been getting what i've been needing and so because of that, I've just found myself very frustrated, upset, literally driving myself crazy about the whole situation. And so I felt like I don't want to be that person who always has a problem and who's always trying to like pick a fight and always like has an issue and stuff. Like I'm not a type I'm not that type of person and I didn't want to be that type of person and I felt like I've just tried to express to them how I feel so many times already to the point where like if I say anything else <laughs> again I feel like I'm gonna be that person who always has a problem and I don't want to be that person so but I know that like if I um just keep like acting like everything's okay 
then I'm the one that is like suffering from it because I'm the one who feels the type of way. The other person probably has no idea and therefore they don't, they're not bothered. They don't feel any type of way. It doesn't affect them, but it's affecting me. And I got tired of that being the case. I understand that that is invalidating my own feelings and I probably shouldn't be doing that, but I feel like I am doing it mostly because I'm trying to avoid what I really don't want to do, which is trying to explain to them one more time what my concerns are, what my feelings are. And um, end up being like frustrated again if they don't get it for like the last time. Because I feel like if I try to explain it one more time and they don't get it, I'm more than likely am going to be like, okay, I give up and I'm just going to, <laughs> I'm going to want to like, just almost like walk away. And I really don't want to do that. I don't want to get to that point. Um, because again, we've been friends for a long time and clearly I care, obviously, if I don't want that to happen. Like, I don't feel like that's necessary, but I also do feel like if I... If I try to explain it one more time and they just don't get it, like I feel like I'm gonna be so frustrated and so upset and so like disappointed that that is what I'm gonna wanna do. And I don't wanna do that. So I've been trying to avoid so, I've been trying to avoid it so long, avoid doing that. Um, so that's the reason I haven't been talking to them. And before I got to the point where I decided to like just take a step back, I tried another option before that. Before I got to that point, I was like, okay, maybe I'm tripping. Let me just try to ignore what I feel. Just forget about it. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I can get past it. But that wasn't the case either. So that's how I got to um, the point of not speaking now. It's just because I just literally don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say. I don't know no other way to try to explain what my issues are to them to where they will understand it. And the reason I say I feel like they don't understand it is because I've talked to other friends about the situation. And I've explained to my other friends the same way that I've explained to my friend who I have the problem with. And, like, it's like my other friends, they get it. They get it before I can even finish explaining what I'm trying to, to tell them. Like, they fully understand what I'm saying, where I'm coming from, and everything. And so the fact that other people could understand it, but the person that I need to understand it, I don't feel like they are understanding it because they're not giving me the same type of, like, reaction or response that, like, my other friends are giving me. It's so frustrating. It's very frustrating and it's like very upsetting. Um, and so yeah, that's like my reason why I haven't been talking to them. Now they're on their end again. I don't know exactly how they feel because um, I haven't spoken to them, <laughs> but I feel like they are not talking to me. Because they probably think that, like, I'm being, like, petty and childish and I'm, like, intentionally not trying to talk to them. And so they probably feel like, well, if she's not trying to talk to me, then I'm not going to try to talk to her. Like, they, that's how they think that I am acting towards them. Then they're more than likely are probably trying to be like, I'm going to just do what <laughs> she's doing to me. Like, I'm going to just play the same game. But that's not the case at all. Granted, I completely understand um, why they may feel that way. Because old me is was not as expressive as I expressive or vulnerable as I am now. Old me, if I ever had a problem or situation, um, 
would like anything or anybody, anything in general. I would not talk to anybody or tell anybody about it. I don't know. I felt like old me, it was very hard for old me to express the way I feel. Like that was just something that was so hard for me to do. Couldn't do it, so I never did it. Like, and that was just with anybody, any and everybody. I was that person who just kept everything inside and then figured it out on my own. Cause not because I wanted to, but it was just cause it was literally hard for me to um, tell people or express how I was feeling to people. But I would say within like the last, these last two to three years, I have really, excuse me, I have really worked like really hard to learn to be more vulnerable and learn to like um figure out how to express myself express my feelings not just to people but just in general like out loud like speak out and like out loudly express my feelings and i could say i'm giving myself prompts i'm definitely not 100 percent there yet but like i would say I am about 50-60% much better at expressing my thoughts and my feelings out loud and to people. Like, I feel like I'm a whole other person. It's actually crazy. Like, the, even the fact of me just sitting here, like, telling y'all this, mind-blowing to me. Because I wouldn't even feel comfortable even saying any of this, <laughs> like, out loud. Like, this stuff would just stick in my head, like, old me. But new me, so much better. And so I feel like I can understand a little bit why they might think, oh, I'm just playing a game or just not being expressive. Because in the past, that's what I would do. I wouldn't express anything. I would just keep it to myself. But I don't know. I feel like, like I said, I've worked on this for the past two or three years now. And so I understand why they may think that. But then at the same time, no, I'm not going to say I don't. I do understand why. I don't think that excuse the fact of why they shouldn't be talking to me. Um, but I understand why. And then I, I think another reason, too, is because, again, before I made the decision to, like, uh, take a step back and kind of, like, lower my expectations and stuff, um, like I said, I was trying to just completely be like okay whatever like I'm tripping I'll get over it like I'll ignore it or whatever I was trying to like put my feelings aside and just be like it's not that big of a deal and when I was doing that this was when I was doing that we were talking still at the time and so I can understand and see like how on their side they probably think or didn't think there was an issue because I was kind of like talking to them almost like everything was normal I would say like I can definitely say my tone was kind of different and I feel like if they knew me as well as I feel like they should know me they will be able to know that I'm talking <laughs> but my tone is off but I don't know so I was talking normal so I kind of see I could see why they probably will probably didn't think there's an issue and then again they probably think I'm just being childish and petty because I just it probably comes off as I literally just stopped talking to them out of nowhere which kind of sort of it's that is what happened because at the time when we were talking it was just me just trying to just ignore my feelings and just act normal um and it wasn't until after the fact that I decided like that was not going to work for me that I needed to this is all the shedding that I got I'm trying to make sure there's no more um but yeah like I needed to kind of like take a step back once I decided that then that's when like I stopped talking and again like I said it's been like a month ago it's been like it will be a month in a couple days can y'all tell how much I care? <laughs> the fact that I know how many, exactly how long <laughs> it's been since I haven't talked to this person. I say that all just to say, 
that it really bothers me that I have not talked to my friend. It bothers me every single day that I don't talk to them. But I don't think it bothers them. <laughs> like, because I think that they think I'm just playing a game or just playing around, I feel like they probably haven't even thought twice <laughs> about um, little old me. And like I said again earlier, like, it's not that I don't want to. Like, I really want to. But I, at this point, I just don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. I don't know how to... I know if I, when I do talk to them, if I do talk to them, that I have to... I'm going to have to say exactly what I'm feeling, which I have no problem doing that. I just don't know how to, like, go about, like, how to bring it up. And when it does get brought up, like, I don't know um, another way to explain what I've been feeling. Because, I, again, I feel like I've explained to the best of my ability what the problem is, what the issue is. But they just don't get it. And so I don't know how else to explain it <laughs> and again I just feel like if I have to explain it one more time which I don't mind explaining it again but if I explain it again and they still don't get it like I don't know that's gonna be very heartbreaking for me and I think it's gonna be heartbreaking because like I said again, I don't have that many friends. And I'm fine with not having that many friends. But, like, the few friends that I do have, I think, are very important to me. I really do value their friendship. I really do appreciate them. I really do care about them. And this is all my friends. Um, They add something to my life, and I hope that I add something to theirs. And so, I'm also very, 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 very extremely loyal. Like, loyal to a fault. And so, it's just heartbreaking. If I had to let a friend go over something that it's not small, but it is small. Compared to, like, just the overall friendship in, in general and then it's not even that it's small or big it's something that can easily be fixed at least I I think it can easily be fixed but I don't know y'all what y'all think I should do and then I have another friend I have another friend y'all so let me label these friends so that y'all don't get confused at this point so the friend that I've just been telling y'all about that I have a problem with, we're going to say this is the party friend. I don't know. I'm just making up these labels right now. I'm going to call them the party friend just because they like to be outside. They're always going out. they the party friend. And then this other friend that I'm about to tell y'all about, we're going to call them the traveling friend. I don't know. I'm going to call them the traveling friend because... They are currently on a trip. They're currently traveling right now. That's the first thing that came to mind. So my traveling friend, my traveling friend knows the party friend. And they, my traveling friend also knows about the problem or situation issue, whatever you want to call it, that me and the party friend is having. Because I've told them. They're actually one of the friends that I mentioned earlier that I've told what was going on about. And they understood what I was saying so the travel friend thinks that I should drop the party friend the travel friend is like yeah no like let them go without questions without nothing like automatically the travel friend is like bye like let that friend go like why are you still even having this conversation and I don't know. I don't agree with that. I appreciate the concern because I feel like, not I feel like, I know. The part, not the party friend. The travel friend feels that way because they can see how much, um, like, I value the, the friendship that me and the party friend have. They can see how much 
the issue that me and a party friend is having is affecting me and they're just like from their side of it they're just like you deserve better or not better not better you deserve more that's how they feel and so I get it and I appreciate them looking out for me like that but instantly when they told me that I was like I got very <laughs> I got a little defensive I was like uh don't say that <laughs> um only because let me give y'all some background history so y'all already know how long me and party friend been together me and travel friend I've known travel friend just as long as I know um party friend we actually all met together but travel friend We've always been friends, but we haven't been close of friends up until just recently. We've like started to like um, become closer of friends, and so when the party, when the travel friend was like dropped the party friend, I was like, mm, <laughs> I don't think so. Like we've been, we all been friends for just as long, but me and party friend has been way closer than me and travel friend, and so I'm like. I'm not about to just drop party friend over something. So again, I feel like it's not small, but it is small. But I'm like, I'm not about to just easily drop a friend like that. Because if I can easily just drop a friend like that, nine times out of 10, no, 10 times out of 10, that means that clearly that friend didn't mean as much to me if it's so easy for me to like, just be like all right peace out like no so when the, the travel friend told me to drop the party friend I was like yeah no it's not that simple it's not that hard I got a little defensive and I was like why would you tell me to do I was like why would you tell me to do that like no and I had to like I had to explain to them what I basically what I just explained to y'all like we're close friends I value the friendship like clearly I care if it bothers me and I'm talking about it um, and it literally drives me freaking crazy, but I don't know y'all. I guess the question is, should I listen to the travel? I'm not listening to the travel friend. I'm not even going to ask y'all that. <laughs> I was about to say, should I listen to the travel friend and just drop the, <laughs> the party friend? But that sounds crazy. And I don't know. I'm not going to do that. Um, at least not right away. Or I'd be the bigger person to reach out to the party friend and initiate the conversation. I don't have a problem doing that. If that's the case, like, how do I initiate? Again, I haven't talked to this person in about to be a month. Literally, not a word, no text, no phone call, nothing. No comment on the pictures, on posts, on social media, like, literally nothing. Not a word. <laughs> not even no hey, no hi, nothing. So it's like... If I'm coming off of a mutt, having not said a word, like what did I say? Um, so if y'all want me, if y'all think I should initiate the conversation, give me like a good, like tell me how to start the conversation. Do I call them? Do I text them? If I do call them and do text them, like what exactly should I say? Do I just be like straight to the point? This is my problem. <laughs> after not talking for a whole month or do I kind of like ease into it I don't know or I don't know do y'all agree with the travel friend if y'all do think that thanks for your <laughs> your thoughts but I'm probably not gonna listen to you <laughs> only because again it's just not that easy now if I have the conversation again and they still do not understand it again like I kind of already said I hope it doesn't have to get to that point, but that is an option if and only if I explain it and they don't get it. Or it's like they don't get either they don't get it or it's just not fixable. If the situation is not fixable, then okay, that could be something that I can consider. That could be a thought. Right now, it's not a thought <laughs> in my head. It's a thought, but it's not like a, a choice, an option of yeah, it's not like a course of action or an option right now in my head. Immediately, at least. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think y'all should do. Because I don't like not talking to my friends. Now, I don't... Like, I have friends that I don't necessarily talk to every single day. But, like, 
I check in with them. And when I check in with them, we be on the phone for like hours. Like, I could sit on the phone with them for like two or three hours. And it feels like we talk every single day. And nothing ever changes between like me and those friends. Like, it be feeling normal and I have no issues, no problems with them. But like, that has been the dynamic of those friendships. Now this friendship, the friendship I have with the party friend, our dynamic has always been like we talk pretty often. So that's why it's kind of like odd to me that we just have not been talking because the dynamic of the friendship, it has always been we spoken. The other friends, that hasn't been a dynamic. Um, so it's like, not odd to me. So, I don't know. I'm going to stop ranting now. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you guys comment below what y'all think I should do. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know what type of content to continue to make. And then, of course, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Come on this journey with me. And, um, yeah, be on the lookout for my next video. Bye.